Three. We are collecting items for a time capsule. I'm gonna show you guys the time capsule. You guys wanna see it? Yeah. yeah. This is the time capsule. We're collecting items for a time capsule. This time capsule will be buried immediately after today's session and dug up in 20 years, right? So in 2041, on February 3rd, they're gonna dig it up 20 years from now. If you had to keep or preserve two things that you love about your community or that your community has gifted you, what would those two things be and why would you keep them? I'll keep my food and water. Food and water? Wow, you would put that in but, the time capsule? Why? Yeah, because if I go somewhere that doesn't have food and water, I could share it with everybody that doesn't have it. You're thinking ahead. You're thinking there might not be food and water in 2041. You're right. All right, Monty, so what we're going to do is you're going to throw them in here. Throw them in here. My ch childhood. Grow growing up in my home has been fun and loving. And my chicken coop because it was fun. <laughs> Oh, so you, you would put a memory in there? Yeah. Throw it in there. Oh, I got Yep, throw it in there. I said my community has given me uh, self-confidence, pride, as well as an appreciation for uh, diversity. Mm -hmm. um, it's a place I can raise my family with those same values, strength builders for their long-term success. I want something that would represent inclusion for everybody. So no matter who you are, what race you are, well, how old you are, it doesn't matter. I want something that includes everybody and shows how inclusive we are as a community. Well, throw and it in there. Throw it in there. <laughs> put a bat in there? <laughs> you put a bat in there? Okay. A baseball bat? Or just a... Oh, that bat. Throw it in there. <laughs> Why are you putting a bat in there? I like the bat. Why are you putting it? We might need a bat. Because it's one of my most prized possessions. Um, and then what else? Is there anything else you want to put in there? Um, this really expensive thing of cologne that I got it was like two hundred dollars. Oh man, want to throw it in there? Want to need to smell good in twenty forty one? There we go. What I really like about this class is that. We always watch these videos that people are changing the world with. Can you see me? Yes, I can see you perfectly fine. Guess what, guys? Look at this care pack that I just made. And also, the book I have to do Oh my goodness, Kavna, you are amazing. I'm so happy we're getting a chance to see each other. You know, the thing that you're doing, it also points out yeah. that it's too small or too big that can be done when you're a leader to help other people. Like what I like about this class is that you can be yourself and that, you know, you can just, I guess, express your feelings weeks off and we thought it was just going to be like a break and we were like yay this we're so lucky to be able to have this but then you didn't but, know we were going to be home from home for, for a while yeah and then it said it's going to be a year and we were like when we heard the news from our dad we were we so were like mad. oh my god ridiculous we're missing summer um thank you all for telling me how you honestly feel my favorite part was being able to like say what you want and like to be free and not to be scared because I feel like that's like a big part of connecting and like sharing your voice. Very much celebrating Black History Month and we are going to play a game of Jeopardy. Apples are winning right now with 100. Organizations and movements for 300. Woo, for 300. This movement was founded in 1966 in Oakland, California. Huey Newton sealed its purpose was to African neighborhoods to protect residents from acts of police brutality. My favorite part is when we was when we was talking about how kids can 
help out even if they're young. And then my also, also another favorite part of mine is when we was doing the writing and we was answering questions and but and we get to read them out loud if they wanted to. I had got like, this magic chick set and learned a little bit of magic. <laughs> okay. So I shuffled the deck and I think I might just know your card. Okay. What you think? <laughs> oh, <laughs> a lot of different things but that you can have different opinions, but the same opinion at the same time. So let's look at the lower the lower frame. Equity. What's the difference? Uh she they got she got like a low rider. She has a low rider, right? She has a low rider. So she can participate. She can ride. And a little kid has a smaller bike. What about the what about the gentleman? Does he, he look more comfortable on this bike? He can sit straight up because the bike he got now is just perfect. Yeah. Yep. So when we talk about equity. The difference between equality and equity is equity is when people have their needs met. They have access to what they need. I just really appreciate seeing the brilliance of the students in this district um, and the talent and bringing us together. Um, I would have never met, you know, some of them had it not been for civics. And I, I really appreciate this platform. Um, so I, I appreciate the silver lining that this pandemic has um, enabled for it to, to, you know, to bring us together under these circumstances. And I appreciate meeting you all.